What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. I'm a Los Angeles and Nashville-based actor, and here you'll find personal stories of my journey as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and whatever else my crazy mind can come up with. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button because we are getting closer and closer to hitting our 1,000 subscriber goal. Remember, once we do hit that goal, I will be re-releasing my first short psychological thriller, and like God, do the rest to celebrate. Okay, here's a quick update. Because of the SAG after strike, I have not really been auditioning as we are not allowed to audition for roles at the moment, except I did go to a community theater because I wanted to get back to, to some theater and I auditioned for a play. I did not get the play, but I did receive some feedback from a director, which is really rare because you often don't get feedback from any of the casting process. I wanted to read you guys my Byron you gave a great audition for little Charles really the only reason I cast the other guy is because he looked more like the people I cast as his parents I wish I had a better answer for you you are talented and I hope to see you at a future audition that is the only update I have as far as my acting career goes so now let's get into it in this video I will be showing you auditions for a few films that I did and then I'm gonna be showing you guys the actual scene of the actors who actually got it <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so let's roll the camera and action. Boom! <laughs> actors we audition for roles and then we never hear anything back from casting we just turn on the TV or go to the movies and BAM you see the character that you audition for played by somebody else <laughs> And oftentimes it's someone who looks nothing like you. So then you, you ask yourself, why do they even have me audition for these roles? Why? 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 And that's when you know that oftentimes casting doesn't even know what they're looking for until they know. So here are a few of the latest movies that are out now that I auditioned for and, um, and the people who actually got the part. Number one is Flaming Hot. Now this is a Disney Plus Hulu production and it was directed by Eva Longoria. Now I thought that I was a really good fit for this role because I did grow up in the Inland Empire which is where the movie takes place and I have worked at the Frito-Lay plant a few times. But in all honesty, I was not right for the role based on the people that were cast in this movie. But anyways, here is my audition. Then come the machinists. They're irre irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. No machinists, no chips. Yeah, I mean, I'll make all the money, but they got everybody's respect. That's I mean, true. Julia's been here longer than anybody, and that fool can run any freaking machine in the whole plant. Mm -hmm. Pobre way, tan trabajador. Why is that bad? Because gomba has been trying to get from his table to that table for 15 years. Dang, why mm -hmm. hasn't he? Half those cabronas at the top learned everything they know from Julius. There's a reason you don't like questions about his machines. Mm, that's true. And then you got us low lives, assembly line, packing, loading. Guys like me and Nacho were a couple of whatbacks. We'll never make it to the top. Well, callate menso, callate menso. Yo tengo una escala de mi casa. Ahorita lo recojo. Whatback, ni que whatback. Here is the actual scene. Go away. Tan trabajador. But why is that bad? Because the compas been trying to get from that table to that table. For 15 years, half those cabrones at the top learn anything they know from Clarence. There's a reason he doesn't like getting questions about his machines. Exactly. And then, you got us. The lowest of the low. The assembly line, packing. Speak for yourself, homie. Those drivers are these guys. And then there's you too. The bottom feeders. The janitors. Don't get bottom feeder. Guys like you can be talking to a guy like Clarence. Because we don't break rank around here. Tennis, it's, it's about respect. And guys like you and me, we don't get shots like this. So don't blow it. Because I'm not going back to that life, but now. Are you? Leave a comment down below if you think that I would be a good fit for that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is about my father. Uh, during the audition, I actually had to film two scenes. One was where the security guards were chasing the characters down the tarmac, and the second one was where the security guards were actually reacting to the emotional reconciliation between the father and son. Since I knew that Robert De Niro was cast in this role, and I know how emotionally available he is, I decided to make a choice that was a little bit different. I wanted my character to actually be moved to tears by the emotional interaction that the father and son or Robert De Niro and his son Sebastian 
can't pronounce his last name, were having during that moment. So here is actually my scene. Wait! Sir! Sir, you're not supposed to be there! I gotta stop that plane! You're not supposed to be there, sir. <sighs> Over walkie talkie. Backup is on its way. What's the situation out there, guys? Um, uh, I don't, not sure. <laughs> Unless you have an emergency code for two grown men crying in the tarmac. And here is the actual scene. As you can see, the actual scene that made into the film is a lot shorter than what we auditioned for. Chances are they probably did film both scenes, but for storytelling purposes, they probably just edited out to what you saw on the film. Number three is Renfield. Now this was one of my first auditions that I had in Nashville after I signed with my Nashville agent. This was one of those times when I really asked myself, why did they ask me to audition? Because the guy that they actually chose looked nothing like me. Um, and it was actually three scenes that I had to audition, but what ended up in the movie was a little bit different. The first scene was in the movie. They completely cut out the second scene, which changed the story of the character a lot. And they did have the third scene, but it was modified a great deal. So here is my audition. Your mother wants to see you. Downstairs. Who's Jeffrey? The man whose arms you're wielding as a weapon. Are you seriously have to me? Are you seriously trying to fight me with my fiance's body parts? <laughs> and here is the actual scene. As you can see, it's uh, different. What did you guys think of the audition? Let me know in the comments. Well, there you have it, friends. Those are just some of the movies that I auditioned for that I did not get that someone else booked. And yes, it is very hard watching somebody do the job that you wanted to do. But every no brings you closer to your yes. So my yes is coming soon. That's it. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Remember to please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe uh, for more of my personal stories as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and whatever else my crazy mind can't come up with. But for now, that's a wrap. You're recording. <laughs> I was hoping to get something funny, but you're not doing anything funny.
I was just going over my lines. I know. Sometimes you do something funny, and I well, can't tell you I'm recording. When the 